Hi guys, it's Dan and Becky from Bugs on the Windshield. And today we're going to explore our last day on the Alpine Loop in Lake City, Colorado. We were really kind of sad, but uh, it was a very, very exciting day. So we can't wait to share it with you. But first, please be sure and subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out when you do that. Thanks. This was our last day out on the trail and it was our last opportunity to get some sunrise pictures. And we thought it would be great to get up early and go out to the lake and get some sunrise pictures out there. So that's what we did. Our friend Jeff also wanted to go out and take some pictures in a meadow that was close by. So he led the way and we headed out early, early morning. It gives an opportunity to uh use the uh, light bar that I had installed uh, months back that I haven't got a chance to use yet. We don't ride very much in the dark, but every once in a while, it's nice to be able to turn the lights on if we are out there. Jeff had radioed back to us to tell us about a good spot for us to pull off on to get some sunrise pictures. It gave us a good view of the lake from front and back. We're here, what is it, almost 6 a.m. trying to get the sunrise. It's 5.55 <laughs> and we drove all the way out here and got a photo. <laughs> sunrise is at 6 12. It's going to be pretty. I came out on the on the razor and froze, <laughs> but it's worth it. The video actually looks brighter than it really was. It was actually still a little bit dark out there. Yeah, my iPhone took some really good pictures, I think, or took some really good video. <laughs> you really see how dark it is when we get some of the photos that we took. The lake had a really good reflection on it, so it made for some really cool pictures. There are a lot of really pretty places to stay along the lake, even some spots to camp. We saw some campers parked along the lake, and I was really kind of jealous. I always get jealous when we don't have our camper with us. Yeah, they were like right on the lake, so they had a really pretty uh, view. Yes. Yeah, we're right on the side of the road. We passed this little stream uh, creek area and Dan pulled off to the side of the road and whipped around and I thought, what is he doing? Yeah. And out of the corner of the eye, I caught something and I knew that we need to go back and look at it. 
And it turned out that it was a moose. A great big moose. Yep. It was pretty exciting. It was very exciting. I didn't know what to take a picture of first or what, if I should use my iPhone, do I need to use my camera? What do I do? Do I get out? <laughs> but uh, luckily we had the, the camera set up and we had the, we had the big lenses with us. So we were able to get really close shots of it. We weren't really close to it, but it was a- It uh, looks like we are in the pictures, but we really weren't that close. Yeah. We had a, a, clear sh a clear view of it from the road. Dan got on the radio and told Jeff where we were, so he, he came up and found us. <laughs> yep, and then Jeff got set up, and so he got some pictures. So we were there for oh, quite a while. Oh, we were there for quite a while, yeah. This was a first moose close encounter for us. We saw one outside of Yellowstone once. It was at nighttime, and we didn't get a very good look. This time, the view was perfect, and there were babies. That really added to the excitement to have the calves close by. That was so cool. We made our way back to the house, and we couldn't wait to tell everybody about the early morning moose sighting. Oh yeah, and we were ready for breakfast too. As soon as we could, we loaded everything back up in the razors and headed back out for our last day of fun on the trails. You get to see a little bit of the town as we ride through Lake City on our way back out. It looks a lot different in the daylight. There's even a deer here alongside the road. <laughs> it didn't even pay any attention to us. Right over the bridge here, there's an RV park. Looks like they're a little close. We prefer a little more room between our campsite. There's another RV park high on the hill here. Man, that would be a great place to park the toy hauler with the back deck down. What a view, except it may not work if we bring the razor. Oh yeah, I guess it's important for us to be able to load and unload the razor. <laughs> I guess we'll have to find another spot. Just in case, we slowed down to double check our moose sighting spot. No luck this time. This was our first rest stop. I don't know the name of the place, but it was really pretty. And apparently, there are bears in the area. We didn't run across any of them, though. Thank goodness.
Man, this area was really devastated by an avalanche. When we were coming up this part of the trail, we saw a big boulder up ahead and thought we were going to have to uh, turn around. But as it turned out, we were able to get around the boulder and continue on down the trail. This was a day we could make a lot of stops and just take our time, take a bunch of photos if we want, uh, walk around a little bit. It was really nice. We weren't on any time constraints at all. The place we stopped for lunch was gorgeous. We saw some hummingbird moths. I've never even heard of them before, but they're really cool creatures. We crawled up and down our last mountainous trail. We came down to the bottom, past a parking area to the main road, and we all decided it was time to head back to the house. 
So we all took off. We were last in line and we had to hurry up and turn back around because my rain pants had blown out the window. That was weird. You were still wearing them. Yeah, that was weird. Since it was our last night, we all went out to dinner. Then we thought it might be a good idea to take another drive out to the Moose Territory, just to see if we could catch another glimpse. On the way out though, somebody noticed a lot of people gathering on the side of the road, obviously looking at something. Sure enough, it was another moose. It was a lot farther away, but we still got a thrill. It was probably not the same moose because this one didn't have a collar or tag that we could see. It was so cool. A great beginning and end to the day. Now it's time to head back, get packed up for the long ride home tomorrow. We had so much video and so many pictures for this trip. It's really hard going through each one of them and deciding what to take out. If I could, we'd put them all in, but we can't. <laughs> It'd be just too long. We really enjoyed our adventure and we can't wait for our next one. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>